The countdown to the weekend is on, and if you're still not sure what to watch, we have the lowdown on some new content you can stream. They include the final season of a Hulu comedy series, a movie about a father-daughter relationship, and a unique HBO show that explores culture. Joining me now to discuss this more is TV Guide Features Editor Krutika Mali Karjuna. Krutika, thank you so much for being with us. Thank Let's you for start me. off with casual mm -hmm. for fans. It's on Hulu. We're going to watch a little bit of it first. Imagine your world in five years. What do you see? You have a good day today, sweetie. She's pretty perfect, isn't she? Yeah. I'm dreaming in Kubrick, and I haven't seen my daughter in two years. I know everything about you. No, you don't. Are you nervous about seeing Laura? I'm a little nervous. Surprise! Now, this is the fourth and final season of Casual, which I'm sure will have a lot of fans a little upset. What can we expect from the final season? Uh, so there's a lot of interesting stuff that happens in the final season. I got to say, it's one of the most beautiful send-offs to a show I've ever seen. Wow, that's it's, high praise. It, yeah, I mean, it's an abbreviated season, and I understand why a lot of people are like, oh my god, I can't believe it's getting pushed off the air. But to be honest, it's a great place for the show to go out because they do a little bit of a time jump, and we get a really good conclusion to the emotional through line of all these characters oh, wow. that we fall in love with. So have you watched the entire, the all the series? Yes, yeah. And you liked it? I loved it. I just think it's a perfect sort of beautiful portrayal of like how this dysfunctional family searches for love and connection um, even in times where it feels like there's none to be had. Right, so, so for people who've not watched any of it, mm -hmm. what would you say is the biggest draw? For me, it's definitely uh, the depth of the acting on that mm. show. Tommy Dewey and Michaela Watkins uh, play the two, basically the two main leads. It's a brother and his recently divorced sister who moves into his billionaire brother's home with her teenage daughter. And that relationship to me, the depths they sort of mine in this, it's amazing, incredible. I mean, uh, sounds great. I, I haven't watched any of it, but based on your recommendation, I think I'm going to start. Excellent. All right. The next one is Netflix, mm. Like a Father, and it's a comedy about a woman left at the altar. Yes. Correct? Let's watch a little bit. Honeymoon Swede. Congratulations. Ew, that's my dad. I'll be back in the office on Thursday. I'm leaving early because I don't need a vacation. Rachel. Earth to Rachel. Rachel, how are you? I'm fine. So Kristen Bell plays that woman, sort of jilted at the altar, and she goes on the honeymoon with her dad? Is yes, <laughs> with Kelsey Grammer. I mean, you have two television heavyweights here, and they, they find a lot of great ground to play off of each other. Um, but it's interesting because the father has been estranged for a really long time, so he shows up at her wedding just in time to watch her get left at the altar. Oh, gosh. And as they, like, go on, the, on their, like, drinking binge for the evening, because, I mean, how else are you going to deal with that situation? <laughs> they wake so up true. the next day and they're like, oh, we're on a cruise ship. Why are we here? <laughs> oh my goodness. Is it funny? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I enjoyed it a lot. It's actually written by uh, Seth Rogen's wife, Lauren Miller, who made this great comedy on female friendship a couple years ago that I love called For a Good Time Call. Mm -hmm. um, so if you were a fan of that movie, which was a tiny indie gem, I would highly recommend checking this so, out. So this one really minds the father-daughter relationship. There aren't too many series that I can think of offhand that go into depth on that relationship. Definitely. And it's lovely to see it in the hands of two such capable actors. Yeah. Um, uh, Kristen Bell really shines in this. Okay, great. Now, lastly, Random Acts of Flyness yes. on HBO is not your typical show. Let's watch a little bit of it. It's a thing of beauty. So explain this show to us. I don't know much about it. It looks really cool. What's it about? It is, I mean, this, that's the thing about the show is it's pretty indescribable. It's being billed as a late night show, but it's not your typical like host, does a charming monologue, interviews a guest, musical act. It's a very experimental sort of avant-garde show. There's huh. cinema verite, there's documentary, there's animation, there's what you could call sketch comedy. Is there a narrative? Are there characters that we follow through an arc? There are, yeah, there are main players, okay. but it's not a traditional narrative. Like, you're going to see them playing different people in different scenes. They're going to be pretty much, pretty much like segmented, packaged, like little stories or like 
not really stories, but like thought-provoking sort of segments in the show. Is it kind of like Black Mirror, where you see the same actors in totally different scenarios? Um, a little bit. The main director slash creator, Terrence Nance, is a person you will see in every episode. Okay. And he's in all of the through lines for the most part. Um, but it's not really a story about his character, because he's a little different in each segment, in each episode. That's where the random comes in, in the yes. title, right? Yeah, random yeah. acts of flyness. Yeah, I will say if you love Atlanta, and you love sort of like the magical surrealism, and especially using that as a lens to explore uh, minority folks in uh -huh. America, like this is definitely going to be a show for you. You enjoyed it? I loved it a lot. All right. Yeah. Kritika, thank you so much for coming to see us. Thank you.